It's an election year, and we need to send a message. My name is John Blinko. I am president of Gateway Spaceport and CEO of Offworld Industries Corporation. When was the last time we had a chance to send our elected officials a message about what we want in space? If our elected officials need our vote, then let's tell them that we need something from them. Transportation infrastructure in low Earth orbit. SpaceX Super Heavy is ready to be captured by giant chopsticks. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Catching Super Heavy and later Starship will be a huge moment in the journey towards certification of a reusable rocket that never really lands. New terminology will be needed. Instead of saying good landing or soft landing, we are going to be saying good catch or great capture. But Starship getting recovered by Megazilla will send a message to the world that space is open for business. Right now, American citizens need to send a message to both political parties. We want big structures built in space, on the moon, and Mars. And we want our chance to go, affordably. Starship test flight number five is currently expected to launch in August. If Starship can hold that schedule, then we may see a fully operational Megazilla. First stack, then launch, and finally capture a super heavy booster this month or early September. Why is this so exciting? Because SpaceX has oriented Starship's development for extremely rapid reusability. Normal reusability is what we have with Falcon. But Starship, they want the rocket to land right back on its launch mounts so they can gas up, load up, and launch again right away. SpaceX is also trying to increase Starship's lifting power to its maximum potential. The newest rendition of its Raptor engine has no shielding that saves a lot of weight. But are there delicate engine components and tubes right now exposed to searing high temperatures? No, because they are integrated into the engine casing. Brilliant. Back in 2012, I met Jeff Greeson at the x -Corp facility in Mojave, California for the first time. We talked for an hour and the conversation was very insightful. Jeff told me he used to work for Intel. He said, John, you know those big fabs where they create the microchips? Everything you use to create that fab arrives in the back of a truck. Starship will be that truck. It will facilitate the construction of many very large space stations, maintenance facilities, and propellant depots. These three vital space construction projects will allow for the rapid expansion of humankind into our solar system. You need a fuel depot if you want to build anything on the moon, Mars, or the belt. You need a maintenance depot because rockets will lose tiles, or they'll need to replace a broken turbo pump, or some other vital component will fail on orbit. That's just how things go when you're operating in and out of our atmosphere. Last, we will need big rotating space stations for the most vital of all necessary things for expansion. People, healthy people. Without rotation, people can get sick very fast. I highly recommend that you read Scott Kelly's book Endurance for all the gory details of how bad it can get at a station without rotation. Automated space construction machines are the only way to build large structures in space quickly. NASA has never built anything really big in space. Nobody has. Yet. So, would they be the best at deciding how to go about expansion into our solar system? Yes and no. I believe that what we need is a plan that has unlimited options. That means government and private enterprise working together.
The space architects of the AIAA are having their decadal survey. The space architects are a special group of people with a lot of great ideas. Check out their cool website. But this decade is different. This decade, Starship is coming online. That means that by the end of this decade, thousands of people will be going into space every month, and later, thousands of people every week. This survey will help them determine what everyday people see as important in space projects for the next 50 years. I urge you to go to this link and take the survey. You don't need to be an architect or an engineer. You just need to be someone who is interested in humankind's expansion into our solar system. We are hoping for a big response before August 31st. The Space Architects website is full of fascinating space construction projects waiting for their chance to be built. Please take the survey and pass on this link to anyone you think might be interested in being a part of it. The more responders that we have, the better the chance of capturing the attention of our elected officials who will determine how much government funding will go to space projects. Going back as far as Apollo, we have had very few elected representatives who would promote space construction projects. We now have a grand opportunity with SpaceX Starship to facilitate a major expansion into our solar system, providing thousands of jobs in a very short time. This may be your best chance of having your dreams of visiting space affordably in the next 10 years come to fruition by showing the next batch of leaders that space is important to this generation. Please take the survey today, right after this video if you can. Use the link provided here or down below in the video description to visit the Space Architects website. From there you can click on the Decadal Survey link. It should only take you a few minutes. Question number 18 will ask you what kind of space traveler you'd like to be. Here you can choose one of four categories. Below that is a box where you can explain your choice. It is here you can make a statement that you want our government to assist industry in building orbital infrastructure for tourists and expansion into our solar system. If you want, you can copy the statement that we have listed in the video description below. On this website, you'll also find lots of exciting projects created by a very interesting group of scientists, some of them trained by NASA or JPL. This is an election year, and the race may be very tight. With candidates looking for any way to get an edge, we have a chance to get big, vital space projects started. Recent surveys have shown that 49% of Americans want to visit space. That number goes up to 60% for Gen Z. That's over 160 million Americans. If those numbers are real, and I think they are, then we have a chance to have our goals heard and addressed. Going into space has been referenced as one of the most exciting adventures a person can have in their lifetime. It's a bucket list item. If we start building rotating space stations and other necessary off-world infrastructure, we can bring down the price of vacations in space dramatically. But the reasons we need to start doing this are not just so that people can visit space. It's much bigger than that. We need people to start thinking about expanding American territory beyond our atmosphere. Orbital communities will form quickly, and those communities can become orbital states as stations get big enough to offer permanent residence. In only a few weeks, SpaceX will attempt to catch a massive descending booster using a launch tower. When they are successful, the door will be open to affordable space travel. Let's get our political system ready for a new era by sending them a message through this survey. Please take the survey today at this link. It's free. When it all starts to happen, many of you will want to be there. If the space construction projects are big enough, you could be there helping to build it, or later to help run it once it becomes operational. We have waited over 50 years since Apollo for our chance to visit space. It's time. And join the Gateway Spaceports crew membership too if you would like to support our efforts. Use the link here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.